picture of what we're doing today. And let's go step by step together so that we can get all the really cool effects that happen in this painting. One of the things I want you to notice is, see how the background is kind of, it's like that white color, but I use a technique called scumbling. It's kind of like stumbling, <laughs> but yeah. So what it is, is you paint a really colorful background underneath, and then you go over top with a really dry, loose painting technique and you get this kind of cool rough texture for the background that's one of the things we're going to do today another thing we're going to do today is we're going to be mixing colors you see my strawberry has one two three four different like tones of like that pink color and so we're going to be talking about that and how to make that happen so we'll go step by step and i'll walk you through it and i'll walk you through what colors you want on your palette so that you can do that if you don't have the exact colors that I have, just get as close as possible. Like you might not have the exact same light blue or the exact same pink color, but if you have a red or if you have like a version of that color, just go ahead and use that one and mix as we go. Because everybody's painting is gonna look different no matter what we do. So anyway, I'm gonna switch the top view. You guys go ahead and get ready and we will get paint on our palettes all together. So. What we're going to do is we're going to have a whole range of colors. I'm going to start with yellow and we're just going to do little dots of color all the way around. All right, guys. So you're going to want a fairly big brush at the beginning of this. Okay, and we're gonna paint the underpainting. You can't really see it in this picture. You can sort of see it. See how there's kind of blues and purples showing through in, in here? So we're gonna be doing that first. And we're gonna leave, leave a border. See how I have like a, a half inch border all the way around my painting? So when you start painting, just kind of be mindful of leaving that border. You're not gonna paint all the way to the edge of your page. You're gonna leave a little bit of border. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. All right. So we're gonna start with the blues and a little bit of red or pink or whatever you have. And we're gonna make the background color. It's gonna be a little bit darker. And I'm just gonna start and I'm gonna be making kind of like X marks like this. And I don't want it to be super thick. So I'm gonna paint until, see how I'm painting until it gets rough like this. And I'm making sure there's no globs left before I get some more paint. I'm gonna get a little bit more. I'm gonna pick a different color this time. And I'm gonna make X's right next to that one. And I'm gonna do it until the paint starts doing that rough texture again. And see, now my paint, my paintbrush isn't making any more paint. And so now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get some more. This time I'm gonna go with this like bright blue color. I'm gonna come over here right next to it. And I'm just gonna make X's until it runs out of paint. I'm not putting it down really thick. I'm making sure that I spread it out so it's thin. So now my paintbrush isn't giving any more paint. I'm gonna get a little bit more of the dark blue. I'm gonna come up here and then do those same X motions. And I'm not washing my brush between grabbing the paint and putting it on here. I'm just grabbing more paint. your whole thing covered you should be able to take your fairly dry brush and go over the whole thing and it shouldn't smear you should have it see how I can go over the whole thing and I don't have any globs left if you do have globs just kind of smear them in make it nice and thin so that when we come it'll dry real fast and when we come back we can paint right over it okay so once you have your underpainting done go ahead and wash out your brush really well okay like this all right, so we're gonna go ahead and move forward. We're gonna look at the shape of our strawberry. It's, it's kind of like a heart shape without the, the dip in the middle, but it's wider at the top and lower, smaller at the bottom. But let's grab a small paintbrush and we're gonna outline where we're gonna put our strawberry, okay?
just our planning shape. Our planning head, we know what shape we're gonna be working with, but we're gonna fill it in in sections, one piece at a time. So once you have your overall shape, you're gonna go back to your really big brush like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix our first color. I'm gonna mix the color that goes right here. Now this color is kind of a pinky orange color, so you can grab a little bit of, a little bit of pink, orange, a tiny bit of white, and we're gonna mix it all together kind of on our palette. Okay? And I'm gonna paint the top left portion of my strawberry in, in big strokes, okay? So you wanna have a big paintbrush for this. It's just a section of it. There we go. I like that. Now we're gonna use that same color to mix a new color. We're gonna add, we're gonna change it just slightly. So this time I'm gonna take a little bit of pink and a little more white and mix those together. And I wanna make sure this color turns out a little bit different than the color that I just used. I'm gonna grab a little bit of yellow as well, just to mix things up. Just finding a color that I like that's a little bit different. And we're gonna do, the next color we're gonna do is this outside, this section right here. Okay. So once I have the color that I like, I'm gonna start on this side and I'm gonna go down and over. Using nice big strokes. Almost to the bottom. This is going the, almost the whole right side of your strawberry. Okay, and if it gets a little messy, it's okay. We're going to be going in with a um, with a white background that will cover up any mistakes later. Okay. So now we have two different colors, very distinct colors. Now we're going to go in with a third lighter color in the middle right here, this middle color right here. So I'm just gonna grab a lot more white. And I'm mix that third color and I kind of squish it around so I don't get like pieces of the old color that I was using. Really light pink is gonna go right in the middle between our colors. We just paint it. Bring it right up to those other colors. It's going to be a kind of a diamond shape because we're going to leave this section down here for the purple. Mm -hmm. Oops, got a little bit of my other color in there. All right, that's all right. They mix together. There we go. So now I have that really light color and medium color and the orangey color. Now I'm gonna go ahead and once you get those done, I'm gonna wash out my brush so we can get ready for the next color, which is this darker color that's in here. Um, so I'm gonna wash out my brush. Okay. So for this last color, the color on my background is actually really close to the color that I'm gonna want, but I'm gonna go ahead and mix it. I'm gonna grab a little bit of the blue, a little bit of the pink, I'm gonna mix it right here just in this little area. That dark blue and that pink. Or if you have red. Or if you have a purple on hand, you can use that color too. Okay, so I got myself a purple color. I'm just gonna fill in this section right here that I hadn't painted yet of my shape. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and wash out my brush. All right. At this point, you might need a little extra white on your palette because that's what we're gonna be working on next is that white background. Make sure you have plenty of white on your palette. 
and make sure that your brush is fairly dry, like kind of not flicking water all over the place when you have it. You can brush it on your paper towel a couple times. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be we're gonna be painting over our background with the white, um, but we're gonna do it in kind of this way so that it has that loose brush that in some of the spots it's gonna show the background through. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna get a little bit of paint on my brush. I'm gonna tap, tap, tap on my palette. It's not super thick, and I'm just gonna start at the edge of one of my of my um, strawberry. I'm gonna start using that same technique of kind of brushing until the paint's all gone and then brushing over it. So I have this kind of, this is called scumbling, when it's kind of, you can see through it and it's rough looking, okay? The dry brush technique. idea with this kind of background is for it to be messy like you know just kind of doing brush strokes in kind of a different direction each time um, giving it that kind of exciting brush strokes that are kind of interesting exciting visually there we go And do it until you feel like it's enough. And just like before, when we did the background, kind of go over it with your, your brush, not have any extra paint. And just make sure you didn't miss any like giant globs of paint anywhere. It's kind of dry brush right over top. Making sure you get all, all the gobs of paint. And then you can wash out your brush when you're ready. If your strawberry is fairly dry, we're gonna grab some, we're gonna do these polka dots on the strawberry, okay? you have a light blue or if you have a dark blue and you can mix white into it to make a light blue, that's what we're gonna be using to make these polka dots, okay? And they're the seeds, right? So we're just gonna go in and we're only gonna do, if you notice, I have the light blue on these top three shapes, the dark blue comes in right here. So we're gonna do light blue over here and dark blue over here. So we're gonna start with the light blue and they're just like little sort of long, elongated polka dots, okay? Just kind of put them where you want. They're the strawberry seeds that are in the outside of the strawberry. You wash down the brush. I'm going to grab the dark food for the dark, the dark dots that happen down here. And if your blue isn't dark enough that it shows up on here, you can add a little bit of black to it and that'll help it show up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it with straight blue. All right, now it's time to think about the green, to get some green on that stem. Now, um, the stem can be, it's, it can be as wild as you want it to be. See, I have, I have these stems and they can just, basically you're just making like them, they start fat and then they go pointy. So they're just kind of like that. I'm actually gonna take my dark green and I'm gonna add a little bit of pink to it or red to make it even, even darker, just a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pointy brush like this and I'm going to start where the tip, the end of my first leaf is, or whatever these, these stems. And I'm just kind of making a squiggly line to the top, like that. 
first one is going to sit like that. Next one, we have it start out the way up here. And it's going to get fatter and fatter until it comes and touches the top. Like that. And you can choose how, which direction your, your, it goes. Like they can, they wiggle all over the place, right? Uh, I'm gonna have this one start over here, come this way, maybe overlap my strawberry just a little bit and cover up a little bit of my strawberry, see that? I'll flop down in front. Um, I'd say do at least five of these things, but it's up to you. There's another one that's just poking out from behind. Make sure it stays nice and dark with my red in there. The pink mixed with the green. And there's another one here. All right, there's those. And now I'm gonna get the stem, the little central stem that comes up. I'm just gonna go with this. There we go. I think I want one more. I'm just going to come down in front of my strawberry like this. Covers up a little bit of the right cup, but I want to start like that. Yeah. Okay. So you can make that your own. Make it do the stem how you how you want to do it. But we're not done with the stem. See how I have all these different colors inside my stem? We're going to add those colors in. So the first color we're going to grab to kind of add to it is that light blue that we used for the polka dots. And we can work right over top. Wash out your brush, but we'll work right over top the wet paint right now. I'm going to grab a little bit of blue. I'm going to pick one or two of the leaves to add some blue to. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this one. And I'm not covering me entirely from just doing a little bit of it. So I'll just do like a little bit there, kind of on that leaf, kind of letting the colors mix in together. And I'm going to go on top of this one over here, just on the tip, like that. Okay. And then without cleaning out my brush, I'm going to grab some yellow. yellow paint. I'm going to mix it a little bit. In my palette. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to put some yellow on some of these guys. So I'm going to do it on this one. This one has some yellow. I'm just painting right over top of that dark green paint. And maybe this one has some yellow. This one has the yellow and the blue going on top. Mm -hmm. Let's do a little, little yellow on the stem. Okay. Maybe this one there we go. A little bit of yellow. Now I'm going to wash out my brush. And get that dark blue color that we used. And I'm just going to put it in a couple spots that I'm thinking about where the shadow is. It's probably gonna land the darker spots in these leaves is gonna be in here. So I'm gonna put some shadow, some very dark blue in on top of my leaves, kind of in spots where I think it might be in shadow, those darker spots. Okay, so I got blues and greens happening. We are very nearly done, you guys. We're getting close. So your brush is nice and clean. This very lightest section on the strawberry, I added white to the polka dots so that it was the highlight. So what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that now. I'm just gonna take a little bit of white and I'm gonna add on top of the blue dots, I'm gonna add white just on the just in that lightest section of the strawberry. Put them on top of the blue dots. From there, you can pretty much 
just call it done if you're happy with it. If you want, you can add, um, you know, little different details. I put like little shadows in here, like a little bit of purple in the background on this one. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can, this is your painting. You can add more colors wherever you want. I'm gonna sign this thing down here in the bottom. And the date. Where is the end? There we go. I feel pretty happy about that one. What do you guys think?